Hi, welcome to Texas Lone Wolf Miguel, your source for Red Pill Truth. Okay, on this broadcast, I'm going to do a video on the Delta female. You don't want to miss this. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, image here. And um, I'm going to work on the uh, letters. To get, I'm going to get the letters to come out, okay? So, uh, bear with me on this. If you don't mind, just bear with me on this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the colors to come out. Alrighty, just bear with me on a moment. Alrighty, the Delta Female Documentary. Alrighty. Now, we're going to talk about the Delta female. The Delta female used to be an alpha at one time. She used to lead at one time. Something happened. She used to have... Uh, she used to be an introvert. No, I mean, I mean extrovert. I mean, she used to be an extrovert. Something happened. Um, perhaps... Something happens. Okay. So we're going. We're going to study this here. Okay. We're going. Something happened here. Something happened. The Delta female used to be an alpha. The Delta female can go into a sigma mode if she wants to. And make no mistake, the Delta female avoids conflicts. The mysterious Delta female, okay. Uh, we're going to explore together right here. Who is this mysterious Delta female? Hmm. Are you wondering what a Delta female is? You're at the right page, right place. You're on the right channel. Okay, you are on the right channel. Here you'll understand everything here there is to know about a Delta female. Of course, don't confuse her with an airline industry. Don't confuse her with the inverted triangle, which is commonly, you know, found somewhere on a human body. But a delta female has a unique characteristics. She is, you know, she is a hard worker. She's a hard worker. She works her backside off. She enjoy her life, and she's known to avoid chaos, avoid conflicts, avoid anything negative. Organizational for diversity, okay. Uh, anyways, it's male. It's a you know poppy for female pilot development. You know, yada yada yada. So much information available about this male personality. I'm not going to do that yet. This does not associate him with a hierarchy, yet gain enough traction. Well, the Delta male is an average Joe. He clocks in, goes to work, does his job, goes home, and then clocks out, go home, enjoy his life. He goes up or down the, the hierarchy when he wants to. The female does the same thing as she wants to. Having not enough spoken about the female personalities, which we are now talking about it right here. So read below, we'll know about this less known personality type in the dominance hierarchy. Okay, so now here's this inform here's the information right here, the table of contents right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through it with you on this video. Okay, the Delta female info infographic and now who is the Delta female? The Delta female personality traits Delta female at work, Delta female in relationship, closing through thoughts from the pleasant personality. 
Thank you, Pleasant Personality, for providing, providing the information. I would like to use this in the video. In no way, shape, or form, or such stuff as that, I'm not making any money on this. I'm just giving the content viewers something to look at when they go on to YouTube, okay? Into the YouTube admin, feel free to check it out. You might have some Delta employees. Remember, knowledge is power. So the did Delta female info, infographic right here is she is characterized by her shyness, number one, confidence issues, practical outlook, patience, effective communication skills. Okay, she's quite reserved. She has confidence issues. She's realistic. She's a good communicator. She's patient. She moves along the hierarchy. Oh, one other thing I didn't mention. She takes a lots of time to warm up. Now, to the employers of many companies and or workplaces, you can take this video here and you can learn from this. Learn about the personalities. And she enjoys being by herself and despises conflicts. So we know by looking at this, she's an introverted female. All right. Who is a Delta female? <clears throat> okay, a Delta female personality known for introversion, self-esteem issues. Practicality, patience, communications, skills, interpersonal, in, in, in personal, interpersonal relationships, she takes time to warm up and hates conflicts. So, we're going to go, go over this. A Delta female is one of the social Female personalities, this type is characterized by shyness, self-conscious, patience, incredible communication skills. Despite her reserved nature, she expresses her love to her close ones. She's also kind and patient with people outside her small circle. She gets awkward in social get settings and also has a hard time trusting people. Again, this female here used to be an alpha at one time. She used to be extroverted at one time. She used to be a go-getter, goal center, go-getter, and she used to command the room. Something happens, be, you know, when she was an alpha at one time. Something happened. Maybe I demoted maybe got let go through um, layoffs, uh, maybe jobs getting cut. Um, it could be a variety of factors. No one knows for sure. Something happened for her to, you know, Cut a lot of people off in their circle and have a very few friends and then go from an extrovert to an introvert practically with time. <clears throat> uh, something happened, okay? Maybe somebody, uh, you know, just got out of the moment, filed for divorce, and she got her heart broke. Her, her world turned upside down and she reserved to being shy to protect herself. So it could be a variety of factors involved in this, okay? So she's characterized by shyness right here. Self-conscious, patience, incredible communication skills. She's a great communicator. She has patience. She's self-conscious, all right? 
Despite her reserved nature, she expressed her love to her close ones. So, yeah, she cut a lot of people out of her circle. So, if there's some in her inner circle she's close to, she kept close her love to the close one. She's also kind and patient with people outside her small circle. So, when she cut people off, she's also nice to them as well. She gets awkward in social settings, has a hard time trusting people. As I, you know, I explained it a uh, few lines up what may have happened or what may have caused her to go from Alpha to a Delta. Moreover, she takes time to warm up to people. This is her protective mechanism. This is for her protection. A Delta female is not going to warm up just to everybody right away at a raindrop. It's, it, it takes a very long time. For some people that just want, you know, uh, wants to warm up right away, uh, you're in for a rude awakening. It takes, and she, when she's shy around you, she ain't gonna say nothing to you. She wants to warm up to you. <clears throat> With that said, her empathetic way of communication allow her to connect deeply with few people in whom she takes an interest. Those are the ones that made the cut so to speak. Now, with that said, her insecurities made it challenging for her for, for her to socialize. She despises being in the spotlight. She tends to stay home or engage in solo activities that interest her. Now, she used to be an alpha at one time. She used to be in the spotlight. For some contributing factors caused her to go from alpha to a delta. So it could be job cuts, could be layoffs, could be um <clears throat> I mean, it could be a variety of factors. Maybe the living arrangements, maybe um somebody betrayed her very badly to where uh, she just flat cut you out and she weeded out her friends and only kept a handful, handful of, of close people that she's close to that she loves. So, I mean, anything is possible nowadays, okay? Additionally, a Delta female practically about her life circumstances, she's practical. She does not try to conceal the reality of things. However, many people often mistake her practically as her being pessimistic. Alright. As I said, she's shy. A Delta female personality traits. Now you must know you have an overview of the Delta female personality. Outline below is a list of characteristics that will help you gain a deeper insight into this personality type. Now, a Delta female is like an Omega. She's shy. She's, she's shy like an Omega. A Delta woman likes staying home, attending social ad gatherings. She's likely developed this characteristic after a difficult experience. <clears throat> Did you get that difficult experience? Now, just the way a Delta male, typically someone who was once an Alpha male, is possible that a Delta woman was an Alpha woman before. Her past prevent her from fooling, putting herself out there again. It could have been a layoff. It could have been a uh, board meeting where boards, the board voted out someone who was an alpha. And nobody who used to be in the spotlight don't like to be let go in the workplace forces. Are you getting this? 
Now, when a Delta female is around you, people she will stay quiet and keep to herself. It's unlikely that she will make an effort to socialize. So if you see a Delta female right in front of you and you don't say nothing, she ain't going to say nothing back. You see what I'm saying? Now, having climbed down that dominance ladder from an alpha female, she decided to restrict herself while in the group. Okay, a Delta woman understands that's okay to stay silent. She knows that she does not have to engage in meaningless conversation with every person she meets. Now, take note. Similarly, similarly, she does not chase after external validation. A Delta female is not looking for acceptance or approval from others. <coughs> she's not also she's also not in need of large group of friends. All. All in all, she is comfortable staying within the perimeters of her smaller friendship circle. Smaller circle. Now, number two, she struggles with her confidence. All right. One of the personality traits that hinders a Delta woman's growth, growth is her tendency to be conscious of herself. Her battles with her insecurities often prove to be an obstacle on her way to success. I think uh, that is a self-confidence that's speaking of right there. She notices herself keenly making a special note of everything she considered being flawed. Okay, she has flaws right there. She has, she has flaws. Her tendency to hyper-focus on herself makes it challenging for her in social situations. <clears throat> this demotivates her to attend events. Okay. Do you know what that is, right? Although she's comfortable keeping to herself, other perceptions of her affect her. People often find it easier to accept outgoing people, so a shy person like a Delta female can find it challenging. No, you put a Delta female in the same room with a Sigma female, she'll probably overcome a lot of things in life. Now, a Sigma female has the same characteristic, the same traits as an Alpha female. But take note, she's introverted. And the Alpha female is extroverted. She's outgoing. Okay. Often problem lies to the fact that she's view herself based on how she thinks others look at her. So, if she thinks others look at her in a negative spotlight, she'll think negative. You see what I'm saying? Are you, are you seeing where I'm going at with this? Now, with this concept known as looking at looking glass self coined by Carl Charles Horton Cooley, um, working on this will allow a Delta female to adjust better in her life. Just remember, I, as I said, she used to be an alpha. Okay? Come to terms with your personality, accepting yourself that process. However, it's important to do this to move forward. Unfortunately, a Delta female's realistic outlook helps her in this area as well. Now, number three, she has a realistic approach to looking at things. Striking characters of, uh, of a Delta female's are ability to stay realistic in most situations. She takes a practical approach instead of obscuring the reality of her circumstance. 
A Delta female takes stock of her options and acts accordingly. She does not bother fantasizing even with things that are not going her way. Instead, she focuses on things she has control over to make her life easier. She's incredibly patient, but she helps her maintain her pragmatic approach to life circumstances. Considering her past experience, a Delta woman might come across as a pessimistic individual. Okay, a pessimistic individual. I'm gonna go look that up, and I'm gonna bring you the. Uh, I'm gonna get you the. Uh, I'm gonna read you the definition. Okay, a pessimistic individual. She's uh, okay. Now, what that means is she's a female who is tend to see the worst parts of things or think the worst will happen. A pessimistic person is a person who often sees lacking hope and joy and is marked by disbelief or distrust. To be pessimistic means expecting the worst in, in all situations. So the Delta female, and on the other hand, may come across as a pessimistic individual. So I've already defined that for you, okay? The truth is she has reservations about her life choices due to her history, her past. Her reserved nature and practical outlook made her seem downbeat. That means uh, defeated, okay? I'm going to look up downbeat and I'm going to define that for you. There's some people that have trouble I'm going to, um, okay, uh, pessimistic and gloomy, downbeat is gloomy. <clears throat> uh, it means downward stroke of a conductor indicating the principal accent note of measure of music. Okay, could be a beat of a measure, could be a decline of activity or prosperity. That's what downbeat is, okay? I just looked it up for you, okay, so you can... See what it is. So, um, therefore, what seemed negative to a person is merely realistic to a Delta female, that woman. She does not like to lift up her hopes. She had bad circumstances. Something bad happened in her history to cause her to be a Delta female. A Delta female would rather err on the cautious side and be pleasantly surprised when things turn out well for her. Alrighty. <clears throat> and one important, okay, number four, Delta fem females communicate well. They're great communicators, okay? They're real good communicators. One important characteristic of a Delta female is our ability to communicate effectively. Her communication skills reflect her successful life in various areas. All right. Although she's not fond of interacting with people, she's incredible at communicating. Specifically, she acts. She actively listens to people's concern and quite adept at conveying her needs to others. <clears throat> okay. Her intelligence allow her to see how powerful words are. This comprehensive understanding is advantageous, is advantageous while interacting with others, so to speak. Now, a Delta woman can hold meaningful conversations. She does not feel comfortable meeting random strangers. Her ability to connect at a deeper level helps her feel at ease when she interacts with people she likes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. I'm going to read this. This trait is particularly useful in interpersonal settings, at homes as well as at use at work. When she works, she got great communication capabilities. 
Her approach to nature allows her to form trusting bonds with people. This process helps her get things done. She's like she's like a Delta male. She's like an average Jane, average Joe. <clears throat> All right. Number five, they're patient. The Delta women are the most patient among the personality type. To be more specific, her patience extends to her loved ones as well as to her ambitions and aspirations. This trait paired with her pragmatism. This allows her to achieve her vision with ease. Thank you, YouTube listener, for listening to this. I hope you're learning from me on this. And um, she's also goal-oriented. She knows what she wants and what she needs to do to reach her goal. She's goal-oriented. A Delta female is focused and patient. She will not rush the process. Instead, she goes with the flow while putting in the necessary effort. Moreover, the Delta female acknowledges her issues with confidence. This recognition also helps her be more patient with herself, so to speak. She takes her time rather than allowing society to dictate how fast she must move. So she moves at her own pace. <clears throat> Apart from being composed around her loved one, she extends calmness to people whom she is not closely acquainted. So she is pleasant to be around. When someone upsets her, she does not react. She is kind and respectful and takes time to regain her composure before responding to them. A Delta woman is truthful to her close one. At the same time, she understands you do not need to be blunt or brutal while being honest. She listens to others with an empathetic ear. Even people whom she is not fond of, she tries to understand their standpoint. A Delta woman despises argument and unnecessary conflicts. Now, here's also very important. The Delta women move along the hierarchy, okay? Now, unlike the personality like the Beta female, Gamma female, or the Sigma female, which I mentioned earlier, or and a Delta woman is not happy with her social status, so therefore she's quite susceptible, susceptible to having her rank changed. Again, she can go to the Beta, Gamma, or Sigma. She'll move on that hierarchy. But if she does move into the uh, Sigma territory, she'll love it there. And if she goes into the Gamma territory, she'll be close to an Alpha but she will not stay at home as a gamma. She will not stay at home. She'll most likely hit the gym. She'll most likely uh, look at her shopping habits, fine-tune her shopping habits, fine-tune her um, workout routine to be a gamma. And when she succeeds at work as a gamma, she want to... Uh, help other people succeed with her on the same level. So, yes, Delta woman can move up and down on a hierarchy or hate the hierarchy altogether, become a Sigma a female. And trust me, you cannot put a Sigma female and an Alpha female in the same room. Unless you want to hire a contractor, Unless you want to get some funds raised for damage control and medical expenses. So let's leave it at that, shall we? Uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up. Because both of them, too, have the similar, similar characteristics. <clears throat> and 
And the same thing with the males, okay, the males. An alpha male and a sigma male, you cannot put them two in the same room. It's a, it's a, it's a conflict. They're both equal. One hates the hierarchy and one loves the hierarchy. The one that hates the hierarchy is the sigma male. The one that loves it, the hierarchy, the hierarchy is the alpha male. He's a go-getter. He's a he stands out. He commands the room. All right. Also, take note: you cannot put an alpha male and an alpha female in the same room either. So you got major problem on your hand if you do. Uh, competition for authority is one of them, so to speak. So an, a Delta woman can move up and down a hierarchy if she wishes. And she's quite susceptible, susceptible to having her rank changed when she's ready. Okay, as mentioned earlier, it's highly likely that some Delta females were once alpha women. <clears throat> they might have been a leader of a group again. The reason why she's not an alpha is, again, could be job cuts, could be employment shakeup, could be a layoff, could be termination, could be let go, could be a variety of factors. Okay? Some tragic experience could have led her to give up that status and then power. So they transform into a delta. As I already spoke about it a few lines back on this. <clears throat> now, at the same time, at the same time, okay, A Delta woman can become an Alpha female in the future. Deltas and Alpha females are quite similar. Okay? They're quite similar. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cover this. They're both beautiful, strong, intelligent, and great communicators. However, a Delta female lacks the confidence that and Alpha embodies. Again, this right here is what causes her to go from an Alpha to a Delta right here, lacks the confidence. Again, uh, uh, yes, right here. A Delta female might resign her role, however, she's never truly happy with herself. So she might try to change herself into another personality type. I mean, you know, on that, on the hierarchy, she can go from delta to a gamma. Well, gamma's are mostly an ambivert or ex extrovert. Or she can go into an outcast, a.k.a. omega female. Okay? Now, another thing is they warm up very slowly. All right, you're number seven. <clears throat> they warm up slowly. Speaking of patience, a Delta female takes time to build relationships. This trait is true for romantic and non-romantic or platonic relationships. Her reserved nature disallows her from opening up to new people. Her look inward to understand how she feels about new people in her life. Based on emotions and thoughts, she decides to how to take her connection forward. Likewise, a romantic relationship, a Delta female will want to have a meaningful, honest conversation with her partner. She likes to lay all the cards on the table before getting completely involved. All right, does that make sense? A Delta female wishes to understand her worldviews, aspirations, beliefs, Motives before starting a committed relationship. All right, she needs to believe that the person in herself, and she needs to believe in the person in herself. 
A tattooed woman never blindly jumps into a relationship. Anyway, just wanted to inform you that's what a delta female is. Alrighty. While in a love relationship, she focuses on effective communication. She is honest and clear about her needs and wants. Okay. A delta female understands that communication is the key to forming, forming a sustainable relationship. I also mentioned she's an introverted person. A Delta female enjoys being by herself. So a Delta female absolutely loves spending time with herself. She genuinely enjoys being by herself rather than going out for parties or other social gatherings. She would stay home, pursue her own interests and hobbies. You will not find a Delta female in the club. That's unlikely, okay? You will not find her there. She'll be at home. Okay? She has an array of things which about she's passionate. These pursuits typically do not involve other people, so she spends her free time being engrossed in these activities by herself. These could be solo activities. All right, she could be a gamer. For instance, you may never find her immersed in a book. You might read a book by playing a single player game, watching movies. Moreover, she has a creative mind and may and a wonderful imagination. She channels this innovative energy into all things art. She's, she's into art. Although she does not like socializing, she does have few close friends, just like an Omega person. Okay? She likes to spend time with him. Her friends also know when to give her space and allow her to enjoy her solitude. So, there you go. You got it. She used to be an alpha. Now she's an introverted woman who likes to uh, do things solo. Play single player games, watching movies, maybe do embroidery, drawing, uh, doing something that's related to art, something like that. Now, for, now we're going to talk about conflicts. A Delta female despises conflicts. Okay, as mentioned earlier. A Delta female loathes conflict. She hates it. She goes out of her way to all, avoid all forms of arguments. When people upset her, she would rather remove herself from that context than to get into a fight. She is aware of her boundaries. Despite her patient's kindness, she ensures nobody dares to step all over her. Um, anyways, given this characteristic, she's comfortable cutting off people who are not good for her in life. Did you get that? Did you? Let me reread this. Let me read this again. All right. Given this characteristic, she is comfortable cutting off. People who are not good for her in her life. She does not bother fighting. Sometimes this proves to be an issue for a Delta female. She'll cut you off. The Delta woman pushes the agenda and pushes a bit much on certain occasion. She fails to see that conflicts are part of everyday interpersonal relationships. Healthy ways of resolving these arguments can help people become closer. She's a, okay, in here we learned she's a great communicator. Also, we learned that she cuts negative people off in her life. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and read this. Although she values effective communications, 
and truthfulness, and she fails to apply these sometimes. Occasionally, she, res she resigns to her situation instead of facing her problems head on. Now, this trait can spill over negatively into her professional life. Wow. That's very, very, that's very interesting. A Delta female might take a passive approach. Now, she might hold back on pursuing promotions or accomplishments from the fear that it might lead to unsettlement amongst her colleagues. <clears throat> uh, likewise, she will withhold herself from pointing out errors or bad behavior. She might also not protect people because of her fear of conflicts. Did you get this? All right, in such situations, you must remind herself of her virtues and values. She must put her effective communication skills to a good use. All righty. Delta female at work. At work, a delta female takes her time to climb the ladder. She's focused. Great at teamwork, values cooperation, and sticks to doing her job. A Delta female settles into her workplace rather slowly. She knows that she will not achieve success overnight. Instead, she knows what she needs, what she wants, and how to reach her goals. So she exercises copious amount of patience and does not rush her progress. In groups like in groups, Delta Female is approachable. She's great at team building and particularly because of her patience and credible communication skills. So uh, so we learn she's a good team team player. A Delta woman understands it's important to listen actively to people's problems and foster team spirit. Similarly, she values cooperation, collaborative work ethic. She acknowledged how much one can accomplish when people work together rather than doing it alone. Her approachability also benefits her in that people are willing to do things for her. Are you learning some new things? Now, I need you to be aware Beta females will not lead, but they take orders from the top, okay? At the same time, her tendency to avoid conflicts can become a hindrance. Instead of resolving a disagreement, a Delta female tends to brush it off or avoid it altogether. And additionally, a Delta woman does not immediately stand out at her workplace. She's not at the top of the ladder, so people do not recognize her. At the same time, she's not at the bottom of the pack either. Like the Delta male personality, she sticks to her job and nothing more. Delta men and women are on their own career path. They do not care how much, much about how they compare with other personalities like alphas and betas. Now... Okay. A Delta female in relationships. Okay, summary. In a relationship, a Delta female's past experience prevent her from putting herself out there. So she takes her time committing to commit herself and build a meaningful relationship. So to get close to a, a, a Delta female, it takes a long time. Okay, as noted, it takes a female, it takes her time in relationship, just as the way she does in her career. She needs time and space to fall in love with someone or to make them, make them her partner. It's going to take her a long time to fall in love. Here, get this. Ideally, a Delta woman would not want to 
and will want to be friends with her romantic interests for a while. She does not jump into a relationship, race relationship or commit herself to something. There are a good chance that Delta woman was betrayed in the past. She's likely to have bad experience in her dating life. Now we get in a now we get to understand why it takes her time to warm up or take a little while to form a bond before jumping into a relationship, okay? Therefore, she is afraid to wear her heart on her sleeve or even take the smallest risk. Her self-esteem issues tend also make it difficult for her to put herself out there. She's constantly assessing herself and other persons. So, Delta female likes to being thorough in her relationship. Along those lines, she ensures that she knows everything to know about her partner. For instance. She takes her time to get to know his personality, lifestyle, worldviews, and the like. Sometimes, quite understandably, people find the tendency off-putting, but this trait makes it challenging for Delta women to find someone to date. Okay. With that being said, the characteristic can be advantageous. Specifically, by wanting to be their friend first, she treats the other party as a person. During her third pursuit, it comes for people to look merely at their potential partners as objects of romance. Okay. However, a Delta female makes the other person feel seen and heard. Therefore, even her relationship ends, she knows she still can have them in her life as her friend. Now, closing thoughts from the, the, okay, by now, you have understood a Delta female personality in its entirety. Gaining this knowledge will help you identify you or, or anyone else you know is a Delta female. Okay, if you think you're a Delta female, this information will allow you to try to come to terms with your past experience, improving your confidence. <clears throat> now, working on your insecurities will help enable you to either climb the social ladder or accept your self as for who you are. On the other hand, you might know someone who fits this description of a Delta female. In this case, you will know how you will you will now be able to see where they are coming from. This understanding will allow you to help them move forward. We get little commissions, and yes, okay. Now. Alrighty. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm glad you got a chance to, you know, learn from this. And, um, you know, if you're a Delta female and you like my you like my channel here, feel free to comment. Feel free to uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna give you a chance to learn some new uh, stuff that comes out. Okay. Thank you. And peace out.